Shalom, Shalom. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you were. What an opportunity that the Lord has granted us today. Oh my goodness. I pray that this will be a very special day to you. And may you grow and increase in all things that pertains to you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may you succeed in all your endeavors. Whatever you focus on, let it work, let it work. In Jesus' name, let your dreams come to, come to pass. I pray that you expand. I pray that you expand in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. May you see yourself as a special person because God dwells in you. And that makes the difference. The Spirit of God is on your side. The power of God is on your side. And He's there to ensure that you experience all that you have, you have received as an inheritance from your Father, God the Father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now call yourself blessed right now. Call yourself blessed. Speak to your day. Decide what you want to see today. And speak it out. Speak it out. Let it be so. Let it be so. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. You know, you can dictate what happens in your day and in your life when you align or acknowledge what God knows, when you acknowledge what God is seeing and, and, and you align your thoughts and ideas and mind with God's mind, you know, because his plan is always good to you. He doesn't have any evil plan or bad plan. He's looking at you and he knows uh, you deserve the best. Therefore, you align your mind and your soul with the word of God it will make you a success. And that's how it works. Glory to God. We are studying and uh, looking at this chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians. I'm trying to talk about the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. And in previous teaching, we talked about the focus. And the focus is supposed to be on the gift, the gift uh, of the gifts. Now the gifts, the gift of the gifts, that's what we learned, uh, saying that we should understand that is one spirit that gives all these gifts. And that the gifts are given to us for a purpose. The verse 7 said, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one or each one for the profit of all. So the reason why the gifts are given to us or the manifestation of the Spirit is for the profit of all. It's not a private use or selfish use. Well, this is important. This is important. We do it for others. This is why it's been given to us. First, it says, For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. Notice, when he mentions every gift, he again repeats the same thing that comes over and over again. Same spirit, same spirit. Notice, notice that's what that's the reason why I'm actually reading this chapter. I'm, my focus is not on the gifts of the spirit, I'm just highlighting, talking a little bit about them. But my focus is on the spirit. The many times when we are reading such verses, or for instance, this chapter, we don't realize that he keeps on talking about the same spirit, same spirit, same spirit, same spirit. Therefore, we should focus on the spirit because it's the giver. And, and that's the issue. You cannot walk with the spirit. You cannot know the spirit. You cannot fellowship the spirit and lack those gifts. These gifts are within the ability of the spirit himself. He's the one who produces these gifts and therefore if you have this union oneness and I get to know who he is you walk in these gifts so I'm showing you where you should focus amen glory verse 8 I repeat again it says for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit so the word of wisdom you have the ability to know things you know you you can speak a word 
And that word would be like, it's God himself giving that advice. There's a certain man in the Old Testament, it's called Ahitophel. And Ahitophel was an advisor to David. And the Bible says that when that man gave you an advice, you could just, you couldn't separate it from the voice of the word of God. Because every time he spoke, this was God speaking. The word of wisdom. The word of wisdom is very, very important. And in the word of wisdom, you can tell the story. For instance, we have the story of uh, in the Old Testament of this man called, uh, of this king, uh, King Solomon. And King Solomon had an issue to solve. And there were two women who came and they had a dispute. They were fighting for a child. So one said, well, one, this is my child. And another one said, this is my child. So it was a very complicated situation. And so he said, well, if that's the case, then you cannot, uh, everybody's claiming uh, the child to be hers. Then we're going we're gonna to cut this child into two parts. Everybody will take a part. You know, you take one part and another one. And another one take a part. And of course the mother, the real mother of the child said, no, 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 please don't do that. Don't do that because give it to her. I, I just want to see my child alive, even if I'm not the one who is, uh, who is uh, taking care of the baby. And the other one who was not the real mother said, no, 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 yes, cut the child into two parts so that we may, what? Everybody may take his his share. <laughs> so the king knew that uh, this this child belongs to the one who, had, who were merciful, who had compassion. Well, with wisdom, you know, for instance, I'm showing that's the spirit of wisdom. The word of wisdom operates like that. It just helps to dissolve problems, dissolve issues that are very complicated. With the word of wisdom, we are able to navigate into some situations that are complicated and we'll break them down and find a solution. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So the word of wisdom is very, very important. Important. So, but then, like I said, my focus is on the same on the spirit. It says, for no one give, um, if, it says, for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit See, through what? Through the Spirit. That's my focus, through the Spirit. So even this word of wisdom is not operating independently from the Spirit. It's operating with the Spirit. So the Spirit of God has to be there so that, so that the, word of God, the word of wisdom may be operative. Do you see now? Secondly, says, to another, the word of knowledge through the same spirit you see again repeats the same word the same spirit through the same spirit so we are seeing one spirit the different gifts these are different gifts but one spirit this is what he's he's saying the holy spirit the giver of gifts so he says the word of knowledge briefly the word of knowledge is that one word that will give insight into some unknown areas of uh, somebody being in the past or present or future. There might be something that has happened that seemed to be an enigma as well. But that one word, one word of knowledge, gives knowledge or light or sheds light to that unknown uh, unknown issue or thing that will give light and will help somebody to know exactly uh, what to do. So the word of knowledge is a very wonderful gift. The word of knowledge can locate somebody, can locate somebody who's probably having an issue, is asking himself, what am I going to do? or you don't know where, which way to go, the word of knowledge will help you to know what to do and where to go, for instance. And supernaturally, that happens. And But he says, the word of knowledge through the same spirit. Now, this is not 
natural knowledge whereby you know this or you know that. No, this is unprecedented knowledge. It's not thought through your mind. It is just like that. You just know without, you know, thinking, without processing it in your mind, but you just know the word of knowledge. You know, this is what happens in the prophetic, in the, in the, in the, in the spirit, the word of knowledge. You can tell this is this, this is so, so and so. This is what is going on. This is the word of knowledge, the word of knowledge. So it's an important thing because it helps in this walk. Sometimes people have questions and they don't know what happened, what went wrong, where to go, how to, where to turn to. But the word of knowledge will help you. So it's a supernatural ability by the spirit that enables someone to get to know things without processing them in their minds. You see? But he says it happens through the same spirit. It happens through the same spirit. The focus is still coming back and is highlighting the same spirit. Verse 9 says, now this is the word of knowledge, you know. Verse 9 says, to another, faith by the same spirit. You see, he's talking about faith. Faith. And the faith that he's talking about here is not an ordinary faith. He's saying that this faith is a gift, you know, whereby someone has the ability to believe into something or do something, you know, with courage that seem to normally be impossible, which is impossible normally. But this person is not coward, is not scared, is, and it does something or something happens. So he has this supernatural ability to believe into something and it happens. Well, he says, you see the spirit of God can enable you to see things or do things or happen, uh, things happen in one or the other supernaturally and gives you boldness into things which are naturally scary and you are able to do things or perform certain things by the same spirit. And he's talking about faith. Glory to God. A supernatural ability. And you know, it's like you, you can see somebody who has a problem or find somebody who has a problem and all of a sudden you know you can do something about it. And you have the boldness. I got the same spirit of faith. There's a spirit of faith. Now, here he says, to another faith by the same spirit. So you feel you are bold to do it and you engage into it and you do it. Glory. Again, this is happening supernaturally. You were not thinking about it. You are not. It's impossible to naturally engage into anything like that. But somehow you can deal with it. A supernatural faith. It says by this spirit, this happens. Glory. So we are able to do wonders. We are able to do things that are beyond this natural realm by the spirit. Through this faith. Look at Dan David for instance. How he could run towards the Philistine. And he killed him. That is boldness. The spirit of faith. Thank God. So but I want to focus on one thing. The spirit is the one causing this gift called the gift of faith. Shalom, shalom. I want to remind you to subscribe on Church of Life Randa. And also share this message with your world. Our world needs the gospel. And you are the answer to your world. You're blessed.